Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here. Um, I am just finishing up work. Um, students are gone. It is Friday and here in Vermont and in the Vermont School District, we are going on winter recess. Um, so I decided to make a video on um, a couple of projects that I'm in the progress and that I'm in the progress of creating and one that I just finished. So the first one here is this um, candy jar slash pencil jar. Um, found some old mason jars in the closet here and decided to make one of these um, and we're going to be giving this away or uh, actually taking donations, sorry, or um, bidding on um, this through a fundraiser. I've got a couple more things that I've made. I showed you the um, dice bag and um, I'm going to make a couple more things. Uh, one of these things, so I get a good look at that. Um, this is Sheridan style, although it is all original drawing um, for myself, but taking uh, concepts from the uh, Bob Park book, which I think, I don't know if I've ever shown this in a video, but here's the book. Um, it is West turn floral design um, and I would recommend getting it if you're interested in this type of work um, it is very um, it's harder than it looks uh, it takes practice but there are a lot of awesome tips in this book uh, and when I get lost I refer to it and um, you know I think maybe in a couple of years I'll be proficient but at this time I'm just a beginner a neophyte as they say uh, the book is a little bit pricey, just so you know, um, for the quality you're getting, but the information, I think, is worth it. Uh, so here's this, and as you can see, there is more to be desired, but um, I'm fairly happy with the outcome um, of that piece. So that's that one. Uh, I made a tote bag. Um, that I don't know if I've ever shown that. Um, let me run real quick and grab that. Sorry about that. I should have probably paused it. So here's the tote bag. It's really big actually. Uh, I'll get that all in frame. I don't know if I can. Uh, some there's a tooled flower of my design on there um, gusseted pocket and back um, there you go hand sewn handmade handles that's that and I got a cuff here um, where it has the uh, inlaid cabochon I believe that's turquoise they're all turquoise just different colors uh, backed with uh, buckskin so those are a couple things that I'll be um, putting up for bidding for our fundraiser and one more thing I'm gonna I'm thinking about doing is a uh, dog treat pouch I carry one with me particularly when I'm on hikes with my dog uh, it's just a belt pouch, you know, you could actually use the same design for, um, you know, a, a fire starter kit or, you know, a, a hunting pouch, uh, you know, a place to keep um, a fire starter kit or whatever, anything like that. But for this, I'm going to be making it for um, dog treat pouch, which I carry one. So here are the components for that. You got two panels a toggle patch here that's going to be in the front for the drawstring and this is coming over the top right here so all put together should look something like that um, I'm thinking about having a snap and a belt slit where you can slide your belt through or you can do a quick release with the snap either one should be fine um, to use but uh, you know sometimes when you're just going around the block you know pick it up quick snap it on and if, you know if you're going on a longer hike 
where you need more stability, that's when you would probably want to use the belt loop um, just to make sure that you're not losing the supplies that you have in there. So there's that. Um, in the middle here is going to be a paw print. That's why there's no um, actual flower. Focus on that. And this, and I drew directly on this. Um, and I haven't decided yet if I'm going to braid the edge. If I braid the edge, it's going to take away from some of the tooling here, but um, I still might do that because the focal point of this is going to be the paw print anyways. And um, in the past, I've had, I've done some bordering on the uh, toggle lace panel, but I think I'm just going to leave it blank because it tends to look a little bit crowded. And this might even look a little bit crowded once I have the braid work on it um, because there is going to have to be a little um, uh, button here for the toggles to um, catch on to. Uh, and the last thing, oh, this, is, this will be the gusset that goes around to make it a little bit wider um, for more, um, you know, to, to be able to put more things in it. I have one of these at home um, for myself and it's just, there's no gusset on here. So it's very limited room. The good thing is, is that things don't slide around too much in there. But when you want to put, you know, some um, uh, dog bags, dog treats, and maybe, you know, a snack for yourself, there's not enough room in there. Um, so with the gusset, that'll fix that problem. Uh, here, while I have you on uh, on camera here, when I have you have your um, attention captive, this is something that I came up with. I've mentioned before I'm trying to develop a hybrid Sheridan style um, with a little bit of a Mesoamerican twist and this is something I came up with and I'm going to do some knife work now hopefully my uh, tool is sharp enough actually let me pause this and make sure I can strop it real quick just to make sure and um, hopefully this is in frame enough where you guys can see some of that knife work without me being too much in the way. So let's pause this real quick. Alright, I'm back um, and I actually was trying to adjust the, uh, the phone so I didn't really get a chance to strop this so I'm going to do this right now. <laughs> As I mentioned in another video that I made, um, this isn't the actual process to sharpen your knife. This is just to polish it. This is what you do in between sharpenings. So um, if you want a good video on what um, to do, I mentioned before, and it's really not that much help because I'm not giving you the information you need, but there's this guy, uh, Christian something, he's got an awesome documentary and he goes into what the best process of, of sharpening your knife is. And I think actually that might be a separate video he has. All right, so let's do some knife work here. Feels pretty good. Uh, one thing I'll say about the Herman Oak leather is that it's wonderful to tool as long as you have the moisture content the right way. Um, it really glides through, um, but if it gets too dry, like up here in the corner, you're probably going to feel it pulling a little bit, and that won't be, many times it won't be a result of you having to re-polish your knife. It is the moisture content in here that you're, you know, going to want to fix. I'm hoping this is actually showing up um, with this angle. I know the angle I have at home. And my workshop is a good one because I've tested it out, but this is the first time I am making a swivel knife portion here. I'm going to pause the video here because my daughter just walked in. Hang on. Not pausing. Are you playing? 
All right, so um, as I said, it was or it is Friday at the school. Um, my daughter goes to the high school here, and she just came in and told me that uh, she didn't want to go to the pep rally. And I work in the career center, um, so she's here now. I'm just checking out the computer on my desk, and let me finish a couple more lines. I'm gonna pause it, finish up the knife work, and then sign out. All right, so finish the head here of the serpent like creature. Now I'm probably not being as careful as I should be as this is more of a trial run for this design as it's not doesn't really have a a purpose other than me wanting to see how it's going to look. Sometimes you can have a drawing and it looks really great and then you put it on leather and carve it out and it doesn't look as great as you thought it would. But um, I am getting pretty good at being able to tell whether that uh, drawing is going to be good or not. Um, there is most of the head. Um, So let me finish uh, the knife work and I'll sign out. One second. All right, so here is a finished drawing cut out. Hopefully the camera's picking that up. Um, not as clean as I'd like it to be. I kind of rushed through it um, and not a huge deal because I'm really not going to be using this for anything. I'm going to use this design for sure. Um, I like the way it looks, um, but I'm not going to be using this particular piece for anything. Anyhow, this has been Tim. Embrace your creativity. Peace.